The movie begins with a peaceful village where people live contentedly. A boy is also shown named Thorfinn who lives in that village. Thorfinn harbors a deep admiration for a fellow villager. One day, he went to the cattle area and they spent time together. Meanwhile, we see Thorfinn's younger brother wandering in the forest for collecting fruits there, he sees a peculiar man playing the flute. Now Thorfinn's brother goes to him while looking at that man, then we notice that that man was not looking like a human because his teeth were just like a wolf. Moreover, that man's name was also Wolfstan. Now that boy, i.e., Thorfinn's brother, is talking to Wolfstan. Then suddenly a lot of werewolves come from the forest, seeing whom the boy gets scared and astonished because his death is right in front of him. Now Wolfstan suddenly takes out his teeth and we are not shown what happened here. Now we can only hear the screams of Thorfinn's brother and his basket falls down. Thorfinn also hears his screams but now because he is with his friend, he does not pay much attention to it. Meanwhile, a lot of werewolves start entering the village. They attack the whole village and start killing everyone one by one. Those werewolves also enter the area where Thorfinn and his friend were. Thorfinn sees them and hides but his friend remains there because of which the werewolves kill his friend. After that Thorfinn comes out of the cattle area and starts calling his brother but he could not see his brother anywhere because as we know that some time ago some werewolves have killed him. Here, Thorfinn also sees that a lot of werewolves are attacking the village. They have wreaked havoc in the whole village and there is chaos everywhere. That's why Thorfinn saves his life and hides in one place. After that Thorfinn runs and quickly goes inside the house and sees that his father is lying there being injured. Thorfinn's father tells him to run away because there is a lot of danger here, but in the meantime a werewolf comes there. As he sees him, Thorfinn hides in one place and the werewolf kills his father. Seeing his father dying in front of his eyes, Thorfinn becomes sad and panic headbutt he runs out of there in fear but then suddenly he falls down and falls unconscious. When Thorfinn comes to his senses, the village chief and a church father are in front of him and they tell Thorfinn that now you are completely alone because the werewolves have killed your whole family and not only your family, but more than half of the village has been killed. We are very sorry that we all have suffered the same loss means we lost our families. In the next scene, the chief is shown to us in his house but then four brave men come to him and the chief call these four because they were warriors. The name of the senior man in them was Hal and the rest were his companions. Now the chief gives A them a task to go to the king of the village across the forest and give the message that wolves have attacked our village, we are helpless and need your help. The chief also tells them that this forest is so dangerous that it is not easy to cross it because whoever goes there, he does not come back alive and is killed. Now because he was the bravest man in that area, he was not afraid of this. They start going for their mission, Thorfinn comes there and says that I also want to go with you because I know each way of that forest and once I also went there with my father. Then they agree to take him with them. After this, the chief gives Thorfinn an axe and says that it was your father's. After this, they move forward to go on their mission. Here one of their companions also joins them. After this, they set out on their journey to reach their destination. Now while walking, they reach the same forest from where they had to pass. After going ahead, they see a dead body of a child hanging from the tree. The dead body was in a bad condition because all the flesh was missing from his body. Now Thorfinn looks at that dead body carefully and finds out that this is his brother's dead body. Seeing it, Thorfinn panics a lot and starts vomiting. After this, they again move forward on their journey and while walking the night appears so they light a fire and sit there to spend the night where they all start talking to each other. They start telling each other about themselves. Now after a while, everyone else goes to sleep but Hal was awake, he was not sleepy. Then Thorfinn has a nightmare because of which his eyes open. After this, he sits near Hal and starts talking to him but then suddenly he hears the sound of the flute playing. Then they both get up quickly and go to check but going ahead, they see Wolfstan is sitting there and he was the one who was playing the flute. Then suddenly he calls his other companions, i.e. werewolves, they who attack Hal and Thorfinn. Now because of this turmoil, the rest of them also open their eyes and they all start fighting with the werewolves. They compete with them. The other senior warrior also kills a lot of werewolves but in the meantime, all the werewolves kill another warrior. After this, the werewolves pick up the warrior and take him with them. They take them straight to a cave and Wolfstan asks a warrior to join them and become like them. That means, I also make you a werewolf with which your life will also be saved. Now because he did not want to die, he accepts this offer and Wolfstan does the same. As he said, he attacks him and makes him a werewolf. There. Hal says that now we should go Thorfinn replies that I will not go without taking the other two warriors. Saying this, Thorfinn goes alone to find them. Then after a while, he finds them and goes to a cave where all the werewolves were sleeping. Then Thorfinn finds his one warrior companion. He opens his hands and starts taking him away from there. At the same time, 
He also kills a werewolf with an axe but after hearing the voice, all the werewolves woke up, in which one of his companions was also included whom Wolfstan had made a werewolf. His companion also moves forward to attack him but Thorfinn succeeds in escaping from the cave with his companion. Now the senior warrior was injured that's why the hall says that we should leave this warrior here and move forward. Then the other warrior says that no, this decision will not be right, we will have to take him with us. They move forward with the help of their injured companion and while walking for a long time they reach a house. There he sees a man and a woman who were both husband and wife. After this, these people ask for help from that couple. Now first that man refuses to help them but then after a lot of insistence, he agrees. He says that my wife will cure your companion's injury because she knows a lot of remedies. After this, they take them inside the house and going inside the house, Hal and that man go to sharpen the weapons and that woman gives food to the other warriors but there was poison in the food, one warrior starts suffering after eating. There, the man who has gone with Hal also starts fighting with Hal and injured him badly but Hal, because he was more powerful, so he catches him and kills him. Outside Thorfinn sees a secret way, which was actually a door. When he opens it, he sees some men there who were very injured and tied. The warrior is suffering because of the poison but then two arrows come to his chest and enter and that arrow was shooting by Wolfstan. Then he also kills the senior warrior with an arrow and injures him now his two warriors are killed together and Hal who was injured and in the meantime, a lot of werewolves come and attack Thorfinn and Hal. They both keep fighting with them for a long time with a lot of bravery and they also succeed in killing two werewolves. After killing them, they were escaping but then suddenly Wolfstan shoots an arrow at Hal and injures him badly seeing this. Thorfinn panics and starts screaming. Now Hal asks Thorfinn to run away by saving his life because I am injured and anyway I have to die after a while. Thorfinn agrees to this and runs away from there. After his departure, Wolfstan shoots a lot of arrows at Hal while running. Rocks come in front of Thorfinn and he starts climbing those rocks. Sometimes falling, sometimes carefully, he somehow reaches the top of the rock. Now there was a castle right in front of his eyes, which was of that king to whom the chief had sent him. Now Thorfinn goes inside that castle, which was completely deserted and there were some werewolves who were watching him secretly. After going ahead, Thorfinn sees Wolfstan there. He laughs at Thorfinn and says you have come, the king is waiting for you, hurry up and go to the roof. Now Thorfinn goes ahead and starts climbing the stairs but there were werewolves sitting on those stairs too. Thorfinn goes to the roof where he meets the king. Here we are revealed that the king is behind all this. All those werewolves are the companions of the king, whom the king has kept in his palace. After this, the king takes Thorfinn to the basement below, where Hal was tied in an injured state. It means that despite being so injured, he was also alive. Here another secret is revealed that Hal is actually the king's son but because of his father's cheap actions, he left the house. He was against his father that's why he announced his rebellion against his father and that's why he was still killing those werewolves by becoming a warrior. Wolfstan gives the same offer to Thorfinn that you two become a werewolf like us or die. Thorfinn agrees to become like them to keep himself alive but Hal forbids him to do so. On it, the king ends his son while stabbing a sword in Hal's mouth after this, Wolfstan attacks Thorfinn and makes him a werewolf. Now Thorfinn gets up and takes out the sword from Hal's mouth and attacks Wolfstan's hand with that sword. After this, he goes to the roof where the king was standing and Wolfstan also follows him but Thorfinn kills him means he was still a human. After this, the werewolves attack Thorfinn but after fighting for a long time, Thorfinn kills a lot of werewolves but then suddenly two huge dangerous werewolves come from behind, they catch Thorfinn and take him to the basement where the king beats Thorfinn and makes his condition worst. Meanwhile, Thorfinn gets up and attacks the king and makes him a werewolf means now the king had also become a werewolf. After this, Thorfinn dares and kills the remaining werewolves. After this, he attacks the king's throat and comes out while holding his head in his hands. Then he looks towards the castle where there was no one because he had killed all the werewolves. In the next scene, Thorfinn takes the king's head to his village and also tells the chief that I have killed all the werewolves and throws a sword in front of the chief and says that only one last werewolf is left and that werewolf is none other than me. Then the chief picks up the sword, attacks Thorfinn's neck and separates it from his body, then he starts shouting there that Thorfinn is our hero. All the people present there also start shouting that Thorfinn is our hero. The movie ends with this scene.